Oh, so the T file now, isn't it? Ah, that's working. Hello, little boy. How's game? Hi. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I've never been a person who's really thought burping was very uh, disgusting. I, I, fine, I've always agreed. I think that's gross. But burping, I don't know. I don't think it's disgusting. I'm a person who burps quite a lot because any gas I consume just comes back out the front, not the back. <laughs> I know it's a weird conversation to have right at the start of the stream, but <laughs> just to say hi because it's my sleepy time. Oh, okay. I hope you get a good amount of sleep. I'll show you the scene quick if you haven't been able to catch up. I don't think I've done much since you were probably last here, though. Stop it. Oh my god, please. <laughs> Sorry, my YouTube is acting weird. Oh, I was on the wrong sensitivity. Oh no. Yeah, I, I I can change the sensitivity really easy in my mouse, but I get used to a certain sensitivity, a certain sensitivity. Uh, when I've changed it by accident, I'll get used to it, and then after an hour, I'm like it still feels fast. I didn't realize I've changed it, and I change it back, and then it feels so sluggish, and I'm it takes me like another thirty minutes or an hour to get back into the normal setting. Right. Oh yeah, I put some little dust things in here. Just to uh, really help the mood. I wonder how much I could uh, say there. Yeah. I really like Cascade uh, particle effects because they're really, really easy to use. Oh, except this one. It's got freaking four separate emitters. What I was going to do is I wanted to just like change the spawn rate to something ridiculous. Oh my god. What? Well, I can't even see it though. Here yeah, I can. Oh, that's cool. I vacation now, even though I might quit anyway because the burnout is. Am I back? Okay, I think I'm back. Um, if you can still hear me anyway. I forgot they didn't work in my area. Like, we keep losing the connection. If it does it a couple more times, I will probably just send the stream. Problem is, the dust is coming out here, so I need to limit where it can go. Um, but yeah, I like Cascade more because I learned it. But I think Cascade, I think Cascade is still really good. I also like uh, Niagara. I think Niagara works really well, and I've actually done really cool stuff with it at times. But I think... Um, I still really like Cascade. Like I, I didn't just throw it out like everyone seemed to have done. Everyone was like, oh, no. how dare you? I thought it was me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> nah, they're doing work in my area, and it's actually been really bad lately. Well, I don't know. They've not told us they're doing work, but we saw, like, four... We've got the um, internet box thing. I don't know what it's called. Just at the top of my road, and we saw four vans. Not one. We saw four vans for it. So we were like, hmm... Yeah, I definitely think I do want it to be increased. Is that too much, though? That's far too much. It looks cool, though. So I'll have to do 50 there. 250 there. Uh, 100. I definitely want it to be increased. I just need to find a sweet spot. Uh, 100 there. 150 there. 200 there. Let's see that spawn in. Hmm, some of these aren't even facing the right way. <laughs> That's probably. Oh, a lot of them aren't facing the right way. Same with that. Same with that. That's not. 
I'd have to go around and actually fix all that at some point just to um, keep up consistency. You know what? What if we added a frog? Hey, John, how's it going, man? Oh, I should also turn on music. One second. This is unacceptable. No. No, I'm sorry. Uh, lo fi. Boom. Is it unacceptable because uh, acceptable? Unacceptable because John is here, or like, what did John do? John, John seems like a nice guy so far. Oh, it's Route One, by the way. If you change your name again, I swear you were here before with a different name. I think people uh, will probably want me to go on a realistic scene after this, I was thinking. Because realistic, or at least something that's not stylized. Because um, I, so, I think some people like to watch because they want to see. Because I get uh, 50, 50 to 100 views after I upload it as a VOD. And I think people want to see something they... To see how I do certain things. So I don't like this. We're getting like two very different wood colours. But if I change the color of this, I would have to just go over for chaos. <laughs> In case John was the one to put the UVs the wrong way around. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He's completely responsible. I think this room turned out pretty good. I definitely think we could have still had improvements. You know what? What if we... You see all the dust in here now. Whoa. What if we made this puddle... Do this right sci-fi environment coming along by the way nice if you ever want to show it i'm always willing to see it oh yeah i want to try a um oh i've already got one if we go sun directional light is yeah that one then we go light shaft well that is giving us a light shaft so it's clearly too bright so when the sun comes in here i want a shaft coming in oh that's my custom shaft <laughs> it's like whoa there you go it's working no it's just my one Oh, it looks cool when you see the, uh, the dust particles. This is more so this channel is just for game dev and art, etc. use. Yeah. Is it given, is it because the clouds are in the way? Kind of. Hmm. Let's put it down for a minute. Oh, you know what? I haven't turned on volumetric fog, I assume. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. So apparently I don't want that. Definitely don't want that. I'm at point five. Want to play my team's multiplayer game? The team I've been complaining about. Hell yeah. Everyone's asking me to play the games recently. I mean, I'm never going to say no. Uh, as long as I have the time, which I have minimal at the moment. I've actually worked some time in Lou, and I asked if I could have Monday morning off. So I can actually stay up late on Sunday, which is cool. Number one is for gaming and anything else. Save me having to find everything. Okay. Oh, well, for like Twitch, you mean? So this channel, like I think you mean I'm going to make my YouTube for gaming and Twitch. Uh, YouTube for thingy and Twitch for gaming. So we talk about? I kind of lost track of what I was reading. 
Oh, I, I missed it. So this is the main channel for game that wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I was, I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is channel is going to be for development, and if I do feel like playing games on stream, I will go over to Switch. Might share the link then sometime in chat. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've been asked by, like, you're like the third person in the last two weeks to ask me to play a game with them. Um, two people are actually going to give me a Steam code, which I'm always going to say yes to. That's cool. Hey, look, Route, route 1. Wait. Oh, you mean you have two different channels? I'm so confused. <laughs> you mean... Right, I get you. Uh, anyways, let's mess around with this more. So, yeah. Uh, so, I don't want to change that. That's quite nice. Now, if I come up here and turn it to like one, yeah, yeah, we get like a huge. Whoa, that's so cool! How far away do I need to get for it? It's not even visible. Now that is pretty cool. Come in here. Wow, it's even got like the fogginess inside. Oh. Oh, whoa. That's the actual uh, volumetric light shafts. Not my custom one. My custom one's there. That's the volumetric one. I will make the character better at some point. Don't you worry. That's very cool. Obviously not what we want. I still want it to look like we're... I said it's still very cool, but again, not what I want. See, I feel like our scene looks better without fog entirely. Maybe... Hmm. Nah, I don't know. Maybe like a very subtle fog and we make it. There's his color. And we make it like a dark blue like that. Yeah, like that. I think we've got to tint the sky a little bit blue. Very, very, very slightly tinted blue. Well, that did not look like I was doing it very slightly. Makes the sky a bit brighter. I don't think I necessarily want. Yeah, clouds look a bit more. These ones here, kind of. Um, there's like a slight adjustment to them, but yeah, they're mostly. Like if I take the material off them, they're nothing fancy, but I can't bother to make fancy clouds. You know what, let's get rid of this uh, directional light in the background for a second. I do want some light shafts, but... Do I want it to appear like that? I want it to spread out more. Hmm. I don't know. That's the problem when you don't actually mess with these settings very often as I've not had much practice. Yeah, if you look at this cloud alert. Oh my god, I'm so slow. Nope, beginning that. Four. Oh, yeah. 
It's literally these are just cylinders. <laughs> Bloom, yeah, Bloom's a good idea. I'll have a look at that in a second. And then I've just basically thrown on this sort of texture that bumps them. Boop. And they kind of look like clouds. They're not, again, like, they're not anything fancy, but... And they look stylized because of the way I've colored them in. But maybe I'll do some of this. It's bigger. Bring this forward, bring this down. I think I want it to be more blasted. What's there a missy? A missy? A missiness? Oh, so what's this? Have they got subsurface scattering? I think I tried subsurface before, didn't I? And I couldn't get I couldn't get good results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a big Bloom guy for realistic stuff. Don't, don't get me wrong. But for Starlight, Bloom can really change that effect. I do have an emissive. Oh, I've got no emissive on it at the moment, though. Why was it turning the emissive up then? How complex are these materials? So I don't want to. The problem with doing these materials is I don't want to keep sitting here. I could turn the edges of them to not be transparent. Instead, use temporal AA um, and do like um. God, I'm sitting really weird. My butt's getting numb. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, oh, God. See, that's all right. Turning up the emissiveness, <sighs> but is that too much? Hmm. Do something like this. That um cool. See, I still want them to slightly look like they're moving. But I couldn't get that working last time, could I? Hmm. I see my music at first thought. Oh man, my back is so itchy. Can't reach the itchy spot. I'm definitely way less flexible than I used to be. I need to be able to reach any spot on my back. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Alright, so. What sex have I got available now? I can turn up the emissiveness. Oh yeah, it's at max. I've got it. Uh, I've got it limited. It actually won't have an effect above one. Maybe point two. So you can always have just the edges of them, like that. But then we get these really thick clouds. As I pull that in, bit softer clouds. Hmm. Oh, tessellation amount, of course. Oh no, that other one's contrast. That's the tessellation amount. Whoa, dark spot. Hmm. I mean, I don't think they're bad. I, I definitely need to improve them. My computer is really not liking this. It's going real slow. What about making a cloud, a particle system? I thought about that. That would make movement quite easy, I think. Uh, the problem is, how would I... The problem with the particle system is making it so we're not interacting with... Um... You could choose either. There's no... I know how to use Cascade, so I'll probably choose Cascade, but there wouldn't be really much difference of using either. Because all, all I'm telling it to do is spawn the uh, shape in and then make it move in this direction. The ping. Oh, did I forget to ping? Whoops. Hmm. 
So I've had a, I've had a very not not hard day. I've been cleaning my room like all day. Why not stream on Twitch? Because Twitch, I mean, it says I've only, I've only got three of you here now. But Twitch, I was getting no views, man. Like, I wasn't when I... I, I streamed on Twitch for like three years before swapping back to YouTube. I would sometimes get um, people host me or raid me, very rarely. But on average, I was getting between two to four viewers. On YouTube, I did take a break recently and uh, my views have that gone down. But I was getting like between five to 15 viewers. The, the averages were just so higher. Oh yeah, sorry, forgot. Oh, sorry, I forgot you already asked. People ask all the time, so I don't mind re-explaining it. Yeah, it's just unfortunate because I do prefer Twitch. It's just um, it makes at the end of the day, I'm gonna want a higher view account, uh, right? I know people get really annoyed when I say that. Like, you shouldn't care about the viewership, and I agree to an extent. Caring about the viewership is a little lame. Oh, I never actually saw this up properly. But as a content creator, it's it's still a little bit of a priority. How many viewers I actually get. I've had people not necessarily call me a sellout, but use words like that. I remember when I um someone was asking help on something, and it was something I couldn't really tell him how to fix. So I wrote you guys probably already had this one, but I wrote, um, oh, you could try this, you could try that, you could try this. I wrote like a couple of suggestions. I was like, however, it's kind of, uh, I think I may have said it's hard to tell you this. I do do paid tutoring though, if you would like a, um, a one-to-one to, -one to do what he wanted. And I got a comment on it that basically he was probably calling me a sellout and everything. Um, I was like, oh, what? And then he said, all the YouTube money you get, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, bro, I get like a tenner a month if I'm lucky from YouTube. I'm sorry that I need money to pay my bills and I can't give people one-to-ones for free. And he wrote back, he replied to the comment and he was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean any disrespect. And I was like, I didn't say, I didn't reply to it, but I was like, what do you mean you didn't mean any disrespect? When you don't care about the visa. Why well, should be in the first place? True, yeah. There's meaning you don't have to care by default to even do it. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That's the way I look at it. Some people get annoyed. Some people do get annoyed um, that I care about the views. And I, like I said, I do get it. Because it, it's... If you know you're watching someone who cares about... Who cares about the view count. It makes it feel like they're less doing it for the viewers and the more doing it for that number you know to uh get money and stuff but equally at the end of the day um I'm, I'm just an art streamer i mean it's very obvious i'm not doing it because i'm trying to make a living out of it as cool as that as that would be you know if i could make a living out of uh doing what i do on stream that'd be freaking cool is it the priority of course not Well, actually, wasn't I saying yesterday, uh, yesterday when I streamed last, I shouldn't have this on the that one on the bottom, only on the tops. I think I was right. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I enjoy doing this. For, oh no, or was I saying it should be at the bottom? By the looks of it, um, I enjoy doing this for you guys anyway. Uh, I. At the end of the day, if I know I'm teaching someone how to do something, that's freaking cool. Oh, I see. So on the top, I was using a different material. I was using that one. Because that one is basically just making it more wet uh, as it gets to the top, which makes more sense. I do kind of feel like it's not being viewed enough. Though. So let's go opacity 0.41. Wow. It's be very hard to see. Cool. Gonna be more noticeable inside now, but that's a good thing. I think it's not noticeable enough. 
chvíľu. When I get this scene finally done, I'm going to show it to the artist who originally drew it. I would love to see what they say. They might hate it. Who knows? But I still think that'd be very, very cool. So I've got this part that still needs a texture. I don't think I can just throw a texture on it because it's not unwrapped. So I could be wrong. Yep. So I just get that part thrown in. That part, realistically, in my opinion, should be the part of the frame I was working on to begin with. Um, but it's too late now. I can I delete that? I can delete it, and the only benefit to really doing that is I can put my cus own custom little squares in. Um, I'd rather use BSPs. I don't know how much people hate BSPs, but it's fine because it's a BSP with that wood texture on it. I can stretch it out. Whoa, that one way further than I was expecting. Sometimes I consider being more public on social media, but I'm always worried I'd be too cringy and people I know will see. But I should probably do it a little if I want to sell art. Yeah, at the end of the day, being an artist, a big part of it is being able to socialize with people. And you could, if your art is good enough, um, that's not always a priority because people will find you and not the other way around. But for someone like me and you haven't really got this like, oh my god, Steve's amazing. We need to hire this guy. We need to get this guy to do freelance. Like, no one's going to come to me because I don't really show any unique aspects that they couldn't get from elsewhere. Uh, but if you do, if you're able to show that, people will flock to you a lot more. Um, but to, at the end of the day, if I'm someone who isn't amazing and my work doesn't speak for itself, I need to have a a presence online yes yeah, so i was just reading what you wrote i need to have a presence online so people actually know about me um and i said this weirdly enough so let's talk about work um and something i don't necessarily disagree with but i don't agree with either i guess how do i change the scale that's pan Line. Well, that's kind of what I'm looking for. I need that one to rotate. See, BSPs can be useful for this kind of stuff. All oh, pins and needles. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to create a new one. I know it's kind of lazy of me because I've already got freaking hundreds of them already. Um, and we're going to change the scale. So I'll, I'll finish talking about what I was talking about in just a second. Sorry, just one. Yeah, something like that. Just so it looks like we've got a wooden at the bottom. There you go. Um, I will make it a tad darker. Because it's at the bottom of the wall. I think that would make more sense. Not red at all. But it's possibly even like tint of blue nah uh, actually no we won't do that um yeah so it's about work so something at work they don't want us doing and i've said before it's completely up to them i'm go I'm, I'm gonna start this off by basically defending what my uh, company has said and it's that they don't want us to make it clear what we're doing on this game and to basically make sure something's safe to that basically um We've made a Discord server for it. And we're not allowed to say who we are or anything. If we want to talk on there, we have to talk anonymously to fans of the game. Now, I want to say that games have done this for years. This is not an uncommon thing for a game to do. In fact, companies, bigger companies, won't even let you share what you've worked on in the company for years after release. So this is not a unique thing. Now, God, does it through. with that said, when they said it, they were doing it for our protection, I didn't agree with this. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, for some people, this might make a lot of sense. Like, oh, why does that look darker? Because it's not baked. Maybe. 
Uh, for some people. Oh, there's the UV scaling. I'm not doing anything, however. Um, this makes a lot of sense because not everyone needs to have a public image online. Not everyone needs to basically share who they are with everybody as, as often as possible. Jobs like QA, jobs like maybe even programmers. Um, actually, yeah, definitely. The problem with being an artist is, you know, let's go check. Portfolios. Portfolios. An artist needs a portfolio. An artist needs for people to know who they are and what work they can produce. Lots of other jobs don't require this. So saying that they don't want us to say who we are in our company to protect us from people knowing who we are and being able to track down our computer and stuff is it is true for certain people. But for an artist, it doesn't do anything. Because I already want people to know who I am. I want people to know that my name is Stephen Christopher. I want people to know that I live in the United Kingdom because they need to know that what like if they want to pay me where that money is going um i want people to know my job title and what i do i want people to be able to go on my thingy i've got my cv on here i think somewhere i want people to know who i am so if that the fact that they say that they're trying to protect everybody i don't fall under that because people knowing who i am is exactly what i want yes it has a higher chance of you being attacked over the internet people could track down who i am and all this kind of stuff but at the end of the day that's just how an artist needs to be i need people to know who i am you know what i'm trying to say so when i when my job is implementing this and telling me that we're doing it for your protection it just doesn't you are man you are man i am a man but yeah like i don't know i <laughs> the reasoning behind it was just so strange if they just said, "Oh, it's just how we want it to do. We don't want you. We don't want your name attached to certain parts because we want us to be a, a team. We don't want you to be like, oh, 'Oh, I'm specifically this and all that.' We want us to represent one person, represent a team." I'd be like, "Oh, okay." But the fact that they said that they were doing it to protect me specifically, well, and everybody else, I was like, "That doesn't make sense." <laughs> oh, it is got BSBs. That seriously got the exact same direction. Flip, there you go. So should I just have like some sticking out here and there? I already got someone there. Nice. Are they? Oh, they're modeled on. Interesting. <laughs> so i want to redo this but this just a styling textures in it right now yeah i actually want to texture this up because i think it'd be way better textured up well that color does not match it's slightly blue right yeah it's closer already Very warm inside compared to outside, uh, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. What is happening in this corner? Um, I am using a BSP. If worst comes to worst, I'll just make a plane with a cut in it. That's probably what I should already be doing, but I just didn't want, I didn't feel like I had to fix it. Oh, in fact, I've already. I've already got this. Technically, I could. No, wait. What? Oh, my. But technically, I could just select this right. Bring it up. Bring it up. Invert it. 
Oh, it's going to be very hard to invert because it's like halfway through the map, but it's fine. And then select this material, delete that. Oh, wow. Um, that's fine. Got to go see you around. Have a good one. I hope I entertained you for that short time. In fact, you stayed longer than I thought you were going to already. Yeah, why is this corner so bright? Like the sun's just getting through or something? We'd have some dirt that's causing some brightness, but we should be getting this light patch over here. Are we having issues here? No, back here's all dark. Yeah, all this looks good. Wait, hold on a minute. Why does it look lighter here? Ah, oh, whatever. I've also not been very well lately. I've been having some um, issues that I won't go into detail. But hopefully I'm fine. Uh, I, I've been ill back to back recently. And I'm just like, oh, I just don't want to be ill anymore. Boom. Greetings from Russia. Oh, hello, man. Les Lem's cool. How's it going? I love when people come into the chat and like, oh, for obviously different nationalities, and then they talk to me with fluent English. Well, I'm not actually speaking, but they write in fluent, like they're fluent in English, and I'm just like, but you guys are amazing. <laughs> uh, so if we do something like this, I like get this wet patch. We could always get a wet patch. So we've got wet patch here. That's supposed to be beer, but we could have a wet patch that comes down here, make it a bit thinner bit smaller bring that down oh there you go actually have we got a bucket oh you know what we do that looks cool i like it with the apples in there it looks awesome sorry i feel like it's really weird to say i feel like my own work's awesome it feels like i'm like oh i'm, I'm so good i don't mean it like that um I'm just happy with how to what uh, how it's gone along, you know. Wait, did I delete it? I shouldn't have deleted it. I just still have a slight wet patch next to it. But like, it's very easy to feel like you're gloating about your work, even though in reality all you're doing is being appreciative of the work you've done and the hard work you've put in. Sound like this. There you go. Because we've got a wet spot here. I think it'll look cool if we have like a little bit dripping through. Do we do that in a particle effect? Or do, because it's dry now, we shouldn't have it dripping. Should it just be wet? Because I could always just do like a little drip coming down. Hmm. Um, have I got my water? I've not got my good water. I was just going to have a little, very uh, basic plane. Probably not a plane, probably a cylinder. So these are little bits you could do to your scene if you're not like... Like, working at where I work right now, a lot of the work is tricking you into thinking there's more that's got into it. So I, I didn't even... Look, I've placed in a little cylinder there, and then I could throw in like a water effect... Oh my god. There you go. Oh, whoa. That's not the water I'm looking for. Is it this one? I've not got my water in here, I have a feeling. Uh, because of that, let's go into Epic. Library. Oh, I shouldn't show you any of this stuff that I could accidentally show you. And let's go stylized water. Fast water, yeah, apparently. 70 megabytes my water. It's not bad. Add to project. There you go. That should have added loads of water stuff in. This is having trouble. Oh no, not lake. I should have just added a... We can just put wood on it for now. Just get something so we're not loading in the texture I don't need. 
Materials in this scene are taking a the sweet time to load, I've noticed. I'm drinking sugar-free, neat energy drink. Not sponsored. Apparently it's supposed to taste of blue raspberry, but... I can't say I agree that that's what it tastes like. That doesn't taste bad, though. Uh, water. So we've got like our basic water here. Wait for it to load. This is going to not work for this because this water is meant for like a pond. So I'm basically going to have to decrease all the scaling. Compiling 85 shaders, apparently. Excellent. Uh, excuse me. I tidied up my room recently. We're looking a bit tidier, and I also. Downloaded that software I asked about in chat. Oh. So I can actually do some sculpting in bed at night or in the morning. Look. Sculpting software. I don't know how good the camera is right now. One second. Yeah, there you go. And then I could just like sculpt on this. Oh, I went to save the project. Whenever I want, which would be really, really cool. I wasn't actually making anything. I was just checking out the tools. But it's actually really cool. I'm, I'm really impressed by the tools actually in here. Like it's it's crazy good. Sorry, <laughs> getting distracted. Is that loaded yet? Whoa! Woo. Look at that foam. All right. I wasn't sure if I was getting ill recently because like the dust and everything in my room. Well, not ill, but why my throat's been like a bit weird lately. Like, you know, like when you swallow something and it goes, as you, uh, as we say, goes down the wrong hole. And like, <laughs> like, and then you've got like that feeling at the back of your throat for maybe 10 minutes because you've just done that. If it was like that, <clears throat> except all the time and the last two weeks, I called up my doctor about it to see what he, uh, well, I haven't actually been able to speak to him yet, but hopefully I'll get through to him soon. Let's get a nice coloured one. Oh, I don't have distance fields enabled on this project. Oh, that does make this a little bit annoying. Uh, how about instead then we just go... Well, actually, what if we just use this water instead? Let's go height to zero. And then let's just go. You feeling better, buddy? Boy, pal, butter bean bag. I'm not feeling too bad. I've just had small issues recently. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. Maybe we should just literally put in a reflective water material in there. Let's call it basic water. Pop that in. Water. A butter of water. Just put in blue. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was, what I was thinking of doing. You read my mind. I've got the material over here. Like, first of all, we'll just do something like this. But do I want it to be transparent? Because that'd be cool. Something like that. Um, are we? No, no. I thought I was going over the edge. Um, 
if I could make it transparent too, that'd be very cool. Transparency, because we can have it so you can see through it very slightly. Because it is supposed to just be water, right? Like that, right? This is a very small detail. I'm going to make this so you guys can actually download it and fly through. If I was just making it for portfolio pieces, I, I probably won't even have a camera angle showing you a bucket full of water. You know what I mean? So pick your battles for how much time you want to spend on things. I'm being silly Billy, and I um, I'm making it so you, so I've got extra detail randomly in areas. You know what I mean? For basically no reason. What becomes less reflective the more you look on, but the, the, if you look directly on it, right? If you look directly into water, it's more transparent than if you look from the side because the reflection becomes stronger than the transparency. Wear mop for bucket. Do I not have a mop? Oh, I got a sponge. Where is it? There he is. Oh, Yoda, you're old sponge. We got a sponge. It's fine. Oh my god, we got a big sponge. Uh, we want the sponge to be damp. Have I got that as a parameter to change? I do. There you go. We want the sponge to be damp. And because it's a wet sponge, we want it to be darker. Uh, I think we want it a little bit more reflective than that. Should we have it that side or should we have it this side? Very wet sponge. I'm kind of regretting how wet it looks. A little too dark because it's going to, when it bakes, it's going to get a bit darker anyway. Uh, did I do this wrong? Back to that material. Well, it looks completely reflective in here. Hold on a minute. Did I not click apply? Tasty. Oh, I didn't click apply. Whoa, that's far too much. That's actually kind of more like realistic work, because obviously water is very figgy, but we're doing stylized water. So, I want to do another lap, do another lap, and make it so we have it something like this. Wait, yeah, so capacity, how opaque it is. We want one to be completely opaque or maybe a 0 0.9. And then it goes to about 0 0.7. People always confuse me with opa opacity. Because when they're like, I've heard people say, oh, it's opaque before. And they mean it, you can see through it. But opaque means you can't see through it. I actually want to research just to make sure I'm actually not misinforming you guys. Opaque meaning. Not able to see through. Yeah, not transparent. But I've heard people constantly say something's opaque when you can see through it. And it keeps throwing me off. Oh, I didn't click apply. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's preview that real fast. Wow. It should be darker on the edges, but it's very hard to tell. <laughs> That's a sponge. That's fine, I think. Darker blue, maybe. And less color, I'd say. Probably should have changed that to a color node. It's already been an hour since I started streaming, Jesus.
I think this seems really magical. Like, I think the reason I like it so much is because it's completely mine. I obviously looked online. Like, obviously, this isn't because this I actually got from a reference. But when we actually come inside, all of this was design designed by me. What is going on there? Do you see that? What is that? Why is it doing that? Um, and I think that's really, really cool. This scene looks easy to make. Yeah, you're right, right. It's very easy. You got my little dust particles. Oh. I just, I fly around the scene and I'm just like, oh, like, this is so cool. I am so happy it's turned out the way it has turned out. And I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I know it's been a very long series. Um, but I hope you guys have actually enjoyed it. I really hope you have. I'd use... Uh, does my game but man the fps drops i think niagara is really cool i was actually talking to this about to letterborn earlier but niagara is really cool but i think if you can do it in cascade and you know how to do cascade particles i don't see the point I, well i don't see the point myself of really really learning how to um Ni niagara niagara yeah you know when i could do it in cascade Niagara has a lot more functionality. You can do a lot more. And if I, I have made stuff in Niagara when I when you can't do it in Cascade. But when I know how to do it in Cascade, I'd use Cascade. Is it pronounced Cascade? Cascade Particles. It's spelled that way. Cascade versus Niagara. I see what people say. Cascade is older. It's uh, so it has more documentation. That's probably why I like it. As long as I can always find out to do stuff. Also, easy to wrap your head around. Yep, that sounds like me. It's not as powerful as Niagara. Yeah, I completely agree. Hello, Steve. Late night stream. I see. All my streams are half eight onwards oh, i'm just trying to be chill right now. i've spent all day tidying my room like really tidying it my knees are man i'm i am unhealthy but i have been on my knees a lot today and i think even if i was healthier my knees would probably hurt i mean i did use it to make fly fly sorry hover around a trash can but global dust, etc., is a major FPS drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's life going? How's work going? Um, see, I love these questions. Life's going pretty good. Uh, I do eventually want to move out because I'm living out with my parents at the moment. I basically lived over, like I sort of moved in with them because it was just easy at the time because of COVID and everything. Um, it was harder to find <coughs> affordable housing. It was harder to find housing during COVID and lockdown, obviously. So the, uh, the ideal situation was to meet with my parents, but they have a very, very tiny room for me to live in. And it's not very nice being in a tiny room for as long as I've been. This room's six foot by eight foot, and I have my essentially my office and my bed in here. This is my mattress. <laughs> um, and I have to pull it down at night because my chair's in the way for it to be permanently on the floor. I guess I use it more like a futon. Um, but it's still all right, you know? And... At the end of the day, I'm actually doing something in my life right now, which is work. I'm enjoying work a lot. Last week was a little stressful because basically I had a month to do a, uh, uh, a set of tasks. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this very vague. I had a month to do a set of tasks and I'm working on two separate projects right now. And this is one of the projects. But for the first three weeks, I kept getting dragged and put on the other project. So I wasn't able to touch these tasks. Now, when it came to the last week of the month, I finally was able to... They, I told them I'm going to work on the tasks I need to get done for this other project. But then, even Monday to Wednesday, they kept dragging me back 
on other things that weren't tasked up or that were on the other project. So it left me with very minor time, like a very minimal amount of time to actually get the work done. But I got it done anyway, so... <laughs> It's just, it, instead of having it in a very leisurely time to do it, it was instead in a, mo a lot more um, confined amount of time. How's it going, moderate? I don't see you here too often, so it's always a pleasure for you to be in stream. Mm -hmm. But thank you for asking, Paco. Or Paco, how do you prefer that said? Um, I do appreciate when people come in. And they, you know, I, I love it when people ask you questions that aren't... Oh, bugger. That aren't... Um, to do with the stream stuff like they they're just asking me a question like oh steve what's your favorite type of beans i always think those questions are great as well do you have to know how to know how to draw or whatever to study what you've studied and work now whoa um uh, no i'm the worst artist you could find i suck too don't get me wrong i did draw some anime stuff and i showed it on stream but a lot of that was basically replicating other stuff. I didn't make any of that uniquely. I just, you know. Why does that I really rather do game design instead of development. Yeah, I, I never have to touch drawing. My boss knows this. But when my boss wants me to make a scene, he, he likes drawings. But he knows he can't expect that from me. And he is always happy with what I produce. My... The way I design something, like if I'm like, oh, let's make a level, you know, I'm like, so what? What's this? What's the um? What's the idea of the level? So we're gonna start on a platform down here, and then I want to get into another area. Let's say oh, it's a tutorial, a tutorial level. Then I want to get into an area over here. All right, now how are we gonna to get to that area? So we're gonna first get you to I don't know. We're gonna have. Staircase over here. That leads up. There goes your GNX platform. Then we're going to have walls. you got to go up over here. And then you have to jump. And then this is going to be, I don't know, top of a building or something. You're going to be over here. And then you'll eventually jump to your last platform. So then you think to your character and you say, okay, staircase here. So what do we want? We want some, let's say this is Italian street or something. Once the building's here, that you can't go in. And we'll have an alleyway back here that's blocked off by railings to show that you can't go that way and then maybe even more buildings over here your staircase will come up here with a railing you can run up here and then we've got a building here building here uh again you can have the building lead over to here and it comes forward and you've got the separate building here this building will just be here so you could actually have it so that this could come back here like this and this building could even do this that and then you run up the wall think about how you want the roofing you have railings along here which means this building is going to have a wall that comes along here and basically you just work with it that's how i design and i just work with it until i think of what i want but we're gonna have a building separately probably here we could have an alleyway leading down here that you're not allowed to actually access like that and then, yeah, I'd stop it and see together and I start thinking. I get a lot of reference online. If I want to do something and I think it's one of the biggest things you should always do is, oh, I want to make an Italian street. Italian street. Cool. These are the kind of buildings I want. These look pretty good. Okay. Now I want to, um, I want something speci specific. I want an Italian balcony. And making a collection oh nice and that's how you do some of the walls and that's how i will start piecing it together for what i want um i don't draw any of it because i suck at drawing but this is my equivalent i will just throw assets together till i get what i want uh steve do you hate kids with peanut butter allergies i'm not a fan of kids to begin with <laughs> but them being allergic to peanut butter doesn't bother me because i don't like peanut butter either a Florida man once put peanut butter on his 
fist and went around punching people with peanut allergies. Is that actually true? I mean, it is Florida, man. So I wouldn't be surprised. Anyways, that's not why I opened this for. But yeah, you get you get the, uh, the gist of it. If you can design, that's all you need at the end of the day. Like, if you, if you just put the time in, man. I'm also lucky because I... There's a big difference between an environment artist and a level designer. If we actually look it up. Level designer versus environment artist. Environment artist is someone who builds the assets that go to the environment. Level designers are responsible for taking the assets that environment artists have created and assemble them into the environment that we can play in. To design gameplay elements. So, in a company, you'll usually have... I don't, admittedly, I tend to have to make the environment, so I do have to do this anyway, but you'll tend to have anyway that someone, because people need to care about gameplay elements, someone will design the layout for the map for you, and you're just making it pretty. So they'll be the one to show you where all the platforms are supposed to be, they're the ones that show you where the walls need to be, and then all you need to do is turn those walls and platforms into something pretty that your character can actually look at and go, well, that's cool. So it really depends on the job you're looking for. Uh, so I'm not going to do anything special for this. All we're going to do is take a sip. Oh. Oh. Ah. Uh, pop that in. There the right way. There the right way. And there the right way. Perfect. Uh, if we stay optimistic and say I will actually get education and university degree will you stay around for a little longer online and be available to contact as in am i going to still be doing this in a couple of years time or because i i want to keep i want to keep doing 3d for as long as i can on the internet um because i like teaching people and it keeps me productive at the end of the day so it's um something i want to keep doing and I ain't going to stop until we get 100,000 subscribers and I can put behind me the silver play button. How cool would that be? Steve's tutorial, silver play button. Honestly, that'd actually be really cool. I don't think we're ever going to get that. I get like 100 subs a month, but... Hello, Steve, head of the company. Hello, Steve, of the company by... My brain, sorry. Hello, Steve. Head of the company by ArtStation as a modeling game designer after the test. There was a mistake in cooking between my question is. My question is, do companies not flatter and don't want any mistakes? questions do companies not flatter and don't want my any mistakes uh so uh, are you asking about like yeah the question's a bit <laughs> a little bit all over the place with the uh grammar but are you asking um basically do companies not want to see mistakes being made as a part of the like if they want to hire you are you saying that are you basically asking if do companies only want to see perfection in art station I usually read very poorly, so I thought it was me for a second. <laughs> but yeah, is that what you're asking? I think there just needs to be more full stops, right? I'm trying to reread it. I feel like that's what you're asking, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to make it out that I'm making fun because it's wrote poorly. I write poorly all the time. I, I can't remember if IBM Motion is even, um, even their first language is English. So yeah, I'm not gonna. 
I'm not going to make fun. What am I doing? Not baking. I want to export. I'd love to get in contact with you in the future. And maybe you can put a few nice words in for me for people where I could possibly work at. Maybe make use of your connections. I don't have brilliant connections. But yeah, man. Um, as long as what you show me is showing your talent. I'm, I'm always going to be honest. But if I know you, I'm obviously going to be better than if I don't know you. But if someone comes to me and they're like, oh, I want insert very specific type of artist and i look at your work and i know you're not capable of doing that obviously i'm not going to throw them your way but if they say that they obviously yeah oh i want this um i say oh i might know a guy and i might recommend them to you um i said this before if people ever want me to i don't get many like i said i think i don't have many connections i don't have a lot of people contact me but i've had in the past people contact me and i have directed them towards different friends or people i knew because you know I want, to, I want to help as many people as I can. I want people I feel who deserves the work to get jobs. Looks cool. Just watching for a short, maybe till later. Oh, okay. Goo, goo, foo, play ad. <laughs> I'm very good at reading names. Hello, Muhammad, again. How's it going? See, yeah, I remember. I remember Muhammad. I like how you say it looks cool. Did you see what I was working on or? Because I've just had that sitting that open for ages. Do we think this front bit turned out fine enough? I think it looks fine on the interior, like here. But I just don't think it looks that great out here. But how much are we going to be looking at the front of the boat? I need to get these sails looking good, man. They're the, they're the things that are making the front of the boat look worse right now. I wonder if I should. We've got this rope in here. Very cool. Thank you, thank you. Look at all those emotes. Uh, winky, smile, happy cry, happy cry, love. Where's that love emoji? Do you think an art station would be a good thing or rather small games with your assets and code, etc. inside the game? I feel like art station would be better so you have more reference to look at. Art station is always really good, but it's for exactly that, for artists. Obviously, if you're... Um... If you're making games that have a lot of art assets because you're trying to show off the programming, that's also decent to use ArtStation for. But remember, when people look at it, um, you need to make it clear what you're making. I've said this before, and obviously I say this in a very trolly way. Because I say that people aren't always clear what they make, right? Um, it's like... Zombie game made in 12 days. It's like this, right? Now, the person who actually originally made this, not this guy, um, actually said what he had made. Uh, can I find this on Steam? Uh, Deathly, Deathly Stillness. There you go. So if we go Steam. Stream. Steam. So if we look at this game... I'm not going to click on that one. This looks very, very cool, right? Wow, it's got a very positive. This looks very, very cool, right? Very cool looking game. However, excuse me, I'm... A, yeah, I, I said this probably. Um, it's not good. My question about companies don't... Exceptions, any mistakes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, it depends what you're applying for. But I, I personally think if I'm a lead artist at my company, but if I saw that you were honest about your mistakes, to me, that would be like... A good thing because it means you're willing to to say what you've done like wrong and all this um but i don't know that's a really hard one to answer because a lot of people a lot of companies like big professional ones like ubisoft and stuff like that may not want to see any mistakes at all so anyways so yeah for example if you if this guy who made this game put this on his art station for example it wouldn't really work because the guy who who made this um didn't really make any of it himself from what i'm aware when i researched it especially because apparently you made it in 12 days and as an artist i know instantly you can't make all this art in 12 days you know what i mean you, oh Jesus, you can't make all of this in 12 days it's not feasible what you can do is you can go on the uh, unreal marketplace or he did use Unreal, and download all these assets and place them in. It's a good way to show off your level design skills. Admittedly, he also didn't make the level design because I, I've seen this exact level in like three other games on the internet. 
Um, but he was basically trying to show off. Is the same as the PUBG? Was it really? He was trying to show off um, how quickly you can put a game together. So if he put if he put this on his art station, he's a teacher anyway. He clearly doesn't want a job on uh, through art station, but he would have to claim what he actually did, right? And he would say zombie project, and then in the description or even in the title, um, this was an experiment. Well, in the description, this was an experiment. See how quickly I could put a team together. Assets and programmed assets are found on the Unreal Marketplace um, because you want them to know what you did right if i showed someone this and i couldn't do the art and then he went we want to hire you as a lead artist or whatever an environment artist you're screwed because you're going to go in and you're not going to be able to impress them as much as what this scene is you're going to be fired within the month uh so it's just good uh, as qu you want to say uh, very quickly what you actually worked on if you're going to put stuff in the art station i don't use other assets from places um yeah, like everything I make, except for finding textures in Substance Painter and stuff, but that's a bit... You, you don't usually have to claim that you've used textures in Substance Painter. Painter you just have to say you've used Substance Painter. Um, boom. I like Quixel. Um, so yeah, that's fine. Because I make all my stuff, you know. So if, you, if you're going to put stuff on ArtStation, just basically make it clear what you're making. Uh, there's nothing... I, I had... um, Not Tay Autumn. He's popped into my head. He's talked to me today. I had Tommen. I had Tommen talk to me. And he worked at a company in... Was he Bulgarian? I feel like he was Bulgarian. He worked at a company in Bulgaria. And he said one of the worst things that they have happen is they get... They have to decline so many applications because people just don't have honest work on their art stations. Why are all these bots coming? Do you see this? Um, yeah. So that was a bit of a tangent. But yeah. I'm just basically saying if you want to put something on art station, just be honest with what, what what's your work because it's like when people would cheat on exams and stuff or, or even lie on a cv at the end of the day all you're doing is hurting yourself because people are going to think you're better than you are and when it comes into reality or showing them what you can do you're always going to disappoint yeah that does match that color that's fine that's why i've never lied if i suck at something i will just say i suck at something I'm not going to sit there and say I'm better than I am because when it comes down to it, if someone's like, Steve, make a character model, I'm going to say, well, I can't. <laughs> I suck at character models. I'm sorry. Better luck next time, nerd. Uh. If you still have it in Blender or in your art station, what was the hardest single piece of the asset that you've ever made? Uh Probably one of my unique assets. Uh, probably the tank. Mm. I personally don't think the tank was that hard. I made the tank in second year of university. So I was starting out. So maybe not the tank. I mean, I textured him in one day, didn't I? Oh, I was remodeling and stuff in these streams. I'm pretty sure at the start of the full stream, he's not even... Yeah, look. Not even textured. It's a two... Almost three-hour stream. So, yeah, by... Oh, wow. I'm very bearded there. Uh, by... This point. Like, by the time I was finished, look. I was already rendering it out. So, can I call that hard? Not really. Uh, um... It's because it's all flat coloured a lot of the time, isn't it? You've got like your metal parts and then the tyres and stuff, but it's not too much of a unique texturing job. You look younger now. He has to, has to shave. That's your other twin brother, Dark Steve. Uh, this asset. I remodeled it again, not too hard. Is it one of the stylized ones then? Are these props? The bag was pretty hard, but I think the biggest problem is, is I'm not really a prop artist, which sounds really controversial because like, what do you mean? You've got loads of props here. What's the resolution of this image? That's not 1080 by... 
Whoa, that's a really weird resolution. I should probably get a better resolution image on uh, my art station. I mean, that's not awful, but I could probably have an improved image. But, yeah, the problem is I'm not really a prop artist. So, I tend to do props really quick and then throw them into an environment. You know what? Actually, I think I know what it is. I think the hardest one I've ever done is probably this vehicle. He's nothing special. In fact, he's on real-time props, right? Yeah. He ain't actually anything special, but I recall having a lot of trouble with him, if I'm correct. Right? I think I streamed to be doing it. I think I had a lot of trouble. It's probably that. I'd say so. Stylized, all very simple stuff. Nothing really hard to actually model there. Or over texture. This scene, nothing very hard. This scene. I made a bunch of weapons. They weren't very hard. Yeah. Yeah, probably that. Good times, though. I love looking at old work, man. I feel like my talents never improved, though. I know some people say, but your work's better now than it's ever been. But I don't know. I feel like I was... I feel like the only difference is I learned how to do things in different ways. But I don't think I'm necessarily any better. I used to model when I was like 16. 16, 13. I started modeling when I was 13 years old. So I've been modeling for... I've been modeling for longer than I've... Than the than I've not been 3D modeling because I'm 27 now. So I started modeling. I've been modeling for 14 years, very on and off. Obviously, when you're when you're 13 years old, you're not gonna sit there and just 3D model. You're gonna model maybe one hour every week, maybe every two weeks, maybe less. Um, <laughs> you know what though? The person who got me into 3D modeling was my older brother. I won't say his name. It was my older brother because what's this? That's cool. Because, oh, that was the one I was using for my floorboards originally, wasn't it? But then I said I don't want to use one I didn't make myself or at least adjusted myself. So we swapped out for this one. Which I also think looks very good anyway. So, but yeah, my brother was like using Blender and I thought it was the coolest thing. I was like, you're making these things? I was like, that's so cool. Um, So I got into 3D modeling and I, you know what? That's just how it went. Another quick question. If you were to make a scene like this, would you have a drawing of the planet or have it as an actual model with a texture that would reference the surface? Did you drop a link? Because I, for some reason, YouTube doesn't let you put links in. Take that away. We want to go stylized. Mm. That was probably the closest. Send it in Discord. Okay. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa. Uh, so I'll I'll share the picture on stream. So I'm not just talking to nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just open it. Uh, <laughs> Adobe stock. If you were to make a scene like this, if you have a drawing of the planet. I'd do it as a model. I'd do that 100% of the model. I'd get a nice uh, texture for it. I'd use the phrases on it to make that edge glow that you've got. Even you've got a bit here. I then have the sun over here hitting the light. Because the sun's behind the surface anyway. Which will look really cool. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'd do this. That's I, I'd probably do this as a plane, like a uh, let's say a plane, like a not a plane, like one second, <laughs> like I'll promise you need to find a good texture for it. I think there are generators actually that you can use. So you have your planet. Uh, then you get your cylinder. Uh, 
I'd probably just do this. There we go. And then delete all the other bits out. Bring this in. Let the edge. Oh, there we go. Delete that and delete that. And have this facing this way. And increase the size. Something like this. Yeah, so this would be a plane, uh, but obviously because of the way your your camera is looking from down here. So if I then got the planet, the it's like is it a fish eye lens? Do you see any problem with that? Because on an actual planet, you'd be seeing it curve like this, but on the image. You'll be seeing it like curve this way, but in this image you're seeing it what concave or convex instead of concave. Um it's very strange. But yeah, you'd you'd find your at, at angle, which is something like that. It looks like it's tilted as well. Like this. And then like this. You get your ground. And then you could probably get like a fisheye lens to work, but bigger. Working animations because Jesus, yeah, I mean, I, I could, I could do that. <laughs> I do want to, I do want to get to the point where I can basically do everything myself. Because um, how cool would that be? But that is such a hard thing to say obviously you'd want this actually in the distance so that way you get that depth like this something like that right mm -hmm. cool you could always pull this Again, you probably want it even more in the distance, but just for the if you're there's a big difference between getting something working from a singular angle and actually having it work. Because if you actually fly around, you go, oh, that's way too big. But if you want it just to look good from the one angle, you don't have to actually worry about depth all that much. I'm being truly honest. And then if we go into the lighting, you just probably want um this one. We'll get a light sun. like this like that because that's the beauty of it is what what's so great about using an actual physical um a mesh is we can change how we want it to look if we want the lighting to be slightly different we can move it if a texture we're always having to go back into photoshop or every texture and make it those small changes uh so this is just a really good way i, I just find this a lot better how do I change its brightness? Or here. Make that. Alright. Oh, oh, whoa. I get above the strip. I made that too. Make a duplicate. Because we want like a general light. We don't want it to cast shadows though, do you get? Get like a point one. Point two. Point two. Uh. 0.15. Now, if we obviously look at that. See that? Then you probably want a little moon. There. Like that. See that though, look. I was able to drag it, and because we're, we're not doing it as a texture, I'm getting all this dynamic lighting happen. Big up. <laughs> what do you think, Paco? <laughs> and all it is is that. You'd obviously spawn a camera in and make it so the, camera, the angle is perfect. Looks like the image. 
But uh, yeah, then it just comes down to how good you can make the textures. The background, like all this, you want it as a texture, very likely. Um, so that would be very difficult. Because that, if you get a decent world sphere, you're just going to have it getting brighter as it comes down. But yeah, the hardest part of that is texturing. Yeah. Anyways. Oops. Let's get back to doing this. <laughs> I also love those questions because I get to like took notes. I don't know which one's better to use here. Wait, so are you saying you still don't know if modeling or texturing or took notes? Question mark. I don't know which one's better to use here. Oh, wait, are you saying the words? You don't know if you should have said made notes or took notes. Is that what you're saying? Because took is better if that's what you're saying. Um, you can also, the stream gets uploaded as a, as a, a VOD. So you can always go back onto it and just clip that part you want to just, uh, see how I did stuff. So, because it's sticking out the wall, preferably we're going to warm. Uh, I wonder if I could just use a generator position. Can you not rotate a positional? What about a light then? No, light won't work because light's more to do with um, the direction it's facing. That's not right either. Hmm. I think I could just use a positional, but change it from horizontal instead of vertically. See, that's the problem. As soon as you start blurring, you get all of this leakage. If I did there, oops. Which is written. How did I do that? I saw. Okay. Um, this is really weird because even if I were to do this, 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 if I brought these back in, put these in. I still get the bleed there, but it does technically remove it there, so I could always just do some of this. First off, get rid of freaking those. Have you guys watched um, Smiling Friends? Oh, well, that was an interesting experience. Let's see, it doesn't really work for there, which is annoying. So I just want to set to a multiply. Turn off. With this stuff, so it's just darker over there. Then I probably want to have some glow in the middle. Separate layer. Just right here. Let's do an overlay. Mm hmm. Turn that up. Make it larger. So I'm taking up my space mapping in. Take it back here. Cool. Could technically do this. Some of that. So I've got down a tad. 
I should turn this down and as well. I don't want too strong. And then we still want our normal positional masks. So, that's that. We don't want them to like overlay on the top and especially, uh, basically increase what's going on. Uh, generate uh, positional. Okay. At least I believe I want to do this, but we'll obviously see as I'm going. If we like it or not. And there you go. We've got all that, all that separate color. Like it's surprising how much it actually does. Like if I um, I made like a folder quick and popped it all in there. Would that work? No, it doesn't. Okay, let's not do that. Instead, if I were to get rid of them one by one, they so, like it goes from that, which looks relatively flat, right? So when we add all these extra bits in, it gives it a lot more depth. I really want these planky bits here to have more I don't know, more? Let's go to bake. Go to just curvature. And let's squeeze it bake quick, see what it looks like. Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. Ah, we'll leave it like that. It looks fine. Fine. Let's save. I'll just save on my desktop for now. Balcony stylized. File export. Desktop select. Export. You know, I, I always make like little complaints about my job and stuff. But I always say at the end of the day, hey, Mega Pixel, how's it going, man? Are we taller? Are we taller or are you shorter? Do I look shorter? <laughs> Make me self-conscious. Um, yeah, I always say at the end of the day, because I say about, yeah, I, I complain about my job and stuff, whatever. But I'm still doing something I love doing. And that's all that really matters. Yeah. Like, I, I picked this, I feel higher up. Oh, now the camera should be in the same spot, I think. Yeah, I mean, the computer's not moved. I'm not sure. Do I usually have it like, maybe like that? Let me go into my software so I can see what I'm doing. And then pull it up like that. Like that. And a shave. I sometimes look at the wall color and I don't like it, but I think that's just because I've looked at it for too long. Right? I mean, unless you guys hate it too. But I feel like it's just because I looked at it too long. I feel like it's actually fine. Uh, let's get the balcony in now. now. I've already got the balcony actually and I just have to, which I just did got the texture. So B underscore, B underscore, sorry, balcony, balcony underscore BC. That's what my mom says to me. 
That's good. <coughs> we want to use a parameter for this. Master basic. But anyways, how have you been, man? It's always a pleasure to see you jump into chat. Hold on a minute. Why are you here now and it says one viewer? Did you scare everybody off? What's going on? Anyways, it's always a pleasure to see you. Um, very long term viewer, which is always awesome. Probably, I don't know. We did scare them off. Oh, could you? That looks better. Now this looks actually situated in the environment. Situate. Situated? Situated? That sounds incorrect, but okay. I have that effect on people. Nice. Uh, this will actually be baked. Is it baked at the moment, actually? No, it's not. Uh, static, yes. This will be baked and appear darker after baking, so we won't mess with its color too much right now. This, I think I'm just going to get rid of. It would be cool if I got it. Can I apply material to this? I don't know. I still don't know. I still don't know. It looks fine. What did I use for this one? There you go. Ooh, easy. Easy texture, mate. Um, I could have used that over here. Just cut off this part. Cut off the rest of it, you know. And just have to sign. And then just have to flag and put the flag over here. I might actually do that. Because then it's reusable if I actually put a new pattern on it. I managed to get an interview. Nice. And have an art test coming up. So things are moving in the megapixel machine. Awesome, man. I used to say that before. That all I wanted at the end of the day was to have an interview and something. You know, to know I was at the very least progressing in some sort of way. Because sitting there and having nothing happening. it Even if you are being productive, it just feels like you're not. Because there's nothing happening to make you feel like the work you're doing is paying off. So I'm glad, man. Like, even, you know, fingers crossed you get it. God, I could cross my fingers there. Um, but even if, like, even if you don't, it's really amazing that you're having the opportunity to do what, you, uh, to interview for a job you want right now. I still think my favorite thing that I can do is jump between both softwares, Blender or Maya, and I can still use both their controls relatively fluently. I sometimes will mess up and press wrong keys, but most of the time I'm capable of doing it. More lag, I guess I call it. I have a lot of tabs open right now. Oh my lord. Did I save this? I did. Let's get rid of that. <coughs> Import. Grab the texture I'm using for it because it's going to be reusable. Oops, I should have done this. Wait, what am I doing? I should have opened it up. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I still got the crow's nest to do up here. I've literally got a spyglass in here, which I kind of want to place somewhere in here because it's just a cool asset to have laying around. You never forget my, yeah, it's like riding a bike. Or is it more that it's like horroring and it's just like, oh, God. What did I call that? It was a small flag, was it not? Or did I spell flag incorrectly? Oh, flat. Yeah, I did spell it <laughs> incorrectly. 
my friend who've got a job with me who i uh who i got uh, helped get a job he has realized how terrible i am with naming things i somehow always just hit wrong keys when i'm naming something it's a very bad habit of mine i'm, not, I'm gonna be honest with you <clears throat> <laughs> so I can even use that here. First, we're going to use it here. So can I delete that? I can. Perfect. And then I'm going to place you here. Rotate you 90 degrees on the Y axis, right? Yes. Then obviously make you like four times bigger. Wow, that's actually probably a little bit bigger, like 4.5. Yes. Nice. Kind of want to make you a little bit brighter. You're a bit... Oh, is that just a shadow from something? Oh, it is. I still want to make you a little bit brighter. Uh, I don't know. 1.5? 1.25. Yeah, like that. Uh, now... Hold on a minute. What the hell did I just put to? 1.25 bigger. <laughs> now, let's repeat that, but up here. Let's rotate it by 90. A good habit, kind of, to get into is using using like the numbers over here to get your perfect rotations and stuff. Uh, just a general, like in Blender and stuff as well. I was thinking that would be 270, wouldn't it? Um, because I see a lot of people doing that. I, I've never done it myself. Jesus, yeah. But I do think... There you go. I do think it's a good habit to know specific, like, numbers. There you go. I don't know what that flag means, but... It means something. Now, we actually need to kind of grab the original texture and make it so it waves because it's a flag but we won't worry about that right now what time is it by the way okay cool cool okay that's good progress so far we've got that done god i this is based the wrong way i also want to get this as a separate mesh because I think having these as separate meshes will just look a lot better. Like here, sure, you're not going to see the bottom of that. So that could probably stay that way. But, oh wow. Yeah. But I think having them here, because it's just cylinders. I just want to texture them myself. Right? Um, basically making the bottoms and the tops of them darker. Uh, to make it look like it's actually situated in place. Yeah, I think I want to do that myself. So if we come into the boat scene. I could technically do an engine and use a local space to do it. But I think it'd still be better to do it manually because the results always look better. So if we select you, we put an edge loop at the top, an edge loop at the bottom, select that, invert, delete faces. There you go. Uh, I could probably just copy it here. It'll be a bit stretched, but I could probably reuse it and just copy it there. I'd, I'd hopefully say. I should probably make these uh, one as well, because these are reusable. I just need to put a metal material on it. Um, and they're being used like four times. No, three times? Four times. So I should probably do that as well. Have uh, you learned any new software, Megapixel? Oh, I just put my arm. I'm lifting heavy stuff today, so I think I've hurt my arms. That's what I get for cleaning my room. I knew that wasn't going to be a good idea. You know, uh, no, we'll leave it like that. Cool. So if we just... I want to have this so I don't... So it's actually in the center of the grid or whatever. But what i got to do instead is just go set to origin like this i wish ah oh, what 
<laughs> Why not? Have you made anything new? If you're looking for artwork still, you know. SM underscore uh, pillar slash cylinder. Not slash underscore cylinder. Because you can have obviously square pillars and stuff as well. Export to the desktop. No, I export the entire scene. Why? Why have I always got click selected object only? He's isolated. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of this drink. It doesn't taste terrible. I got 180 videos in my last tutorial. Nice. I need to make thumbnails for all my videos again. And make sure I fix it to play. Every, every goes into playlists. I've got 13 substance pay tutorials, 25 time lapses, four post processing videos. Hold on a minute, where's my. Oh, material. There goes 56 material uh, tutorials. I've played around, but I haven't published anything. Oh, that's a shame. I think, God, it's still exploring. I think a big part, in my opinion, is basically just getting things out there. Like, I think something that my mate did was, I know, I know they say, oh, you don't, don't put in work in progress, don't pick up, put work in progress. But I think putting that up is better than putting nothing up. Because if you've got a post up and then two years have passed and there's nothing posted, does that look better or worse than? Not having a two-year gap, but having like five work in progresses being posted. Sure, it shows you might not finish a project, but equally, at least it shows you have worked on something. You know, it's showing off something. I would say add it to a work in progress. Uh, like if you have an art station, I'm not saying you to do this. I'm just saying like this is something I've been thinking about with work. Because like I could have put this uh, ship up for a work in progress, but I have an okay array of stuff on my portfolio now like this shows what i can do uh even if you click stylized assets you're like oh look you can make stylized weaponry um but if you could just have like one extra one then when you click on it well that's a good example uh well i guess like this so when you click on it you could just see all the work of progresses maybe you only have one picture for each but at least it would show something than showing nothing at all nothing at all it's like i'm showing nothing at all nothing at all nothing at all stupid sexy flanders oh is this unwrapped i assume this is unwrapped but it might not be very well Oh my. Uh, that's the incorrect way. Can I... Oh, Z, X. What? Unwrap. Oh, there you go. Okay. Had, can I not... I assume... Yeah, it's got to be this way. I assume it's supposed to be this way. Cool. File. Spot, FBX, cylinder. Hmm, actually, I just use up as much UV square as I can. Let's see why not. Fire. <laughs> Spot, FBX, cylinder. Give me as much space as you can. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. One thing that got me about one of the people, um, Uh, about people about someone who works for my company was they only had a laptop for work and that blows my mind i think they had a separate drawing tablet like one you hold um i use three monitors like the one you're seeing now i use one in the top right and i use one in the top left when i'm streaming i use one for just the stream so i can see you guys talking um and then i use two of them simultaneously to get work done like i'll be in here 
and then I want to mess with the material so that goes up there or I want a reference image there, up there or I want something up there that's helping um when I'm streaming I try to limit it to one monitor admittedly but it does slow down my progress or my process because you know having and it's just more uncomfortable because having if I'm trying to do this and I'm doing it because I want to show you guys what I'm doing I'm working with a tiny screen I just want to bam put it up screen in my top left which you can't see i've got that room so when i was told by this person oh i only use one more i only use a laptop not only is a laptop way smaller like compared to my monitor so i don't know if she had a big laptop but presumably it was something like this right how was that your workstation <laughs> i don't care if you've got a keyboard or a laptop and it's a very fast um a very fast laptop a very good keyboard very good mouse that's lib that has to have been limiting this person's ability to work no like i was when i work it i use all three of my monitors so often and sometimes i wish i had a fourth monitor like that's crazy to me i know the privilege of working from home and being able to do computer work means you can limit yourself to only using one laptop and still get the work done but there's no way you're not limiting your performance by doing that. I can't imagine it's being very helpful. But someone, you know, one of you guys might tell me I'm wrong. Say that's, you guys, do you guys think I'm wrong there? I'd love to hear what you guys think, honestly. But truly, so tell me what you guys think. And how, like, if you do think the opposite, you know, prove me wrong. If you think the opposite and you think you can do all the work with just a laptop, um... Tell me how, because man, I would struggle. Small FBX pillar. Oh. Let's pop these into folders. We'll go um, MS underscore. Oops. That's small. Oh, no, no. Bow. Kill me. That's exactly my workstation without an external keyboard with a potato processor and a bad GPU and it's pain in the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but it, like you've got a sorry. You've got a bad CPU and uh graphics card as well. But do you do you think you could still do as much work as me or someone a clone of yourself on a workstation with three monitors um and all this stuff I've got going on? How much better do you think your work would go if you had a really good laptop that does all that I think you need versus a three monitor setup with all the other tools you need? Like technically this person had a tablet, so I can't say tablet. Like, what, what, what do you think? I'm curious. Because if it's just your pro, if you feel like it's your process, your GPU letting it down and not necessarily the laptop. Do I want to scale this more? organizing some of the folders right now sign okay cylinder cool it's good oh uh. it's what absolutely not still a small space to fill the base you need at least two monitors to comfortably work with no pressure okay okay see i completely agree obviously from what i'm saying i completely agree so it baffles me how this person i don't know if they did say it did limit their work i never heard them blaming their laptop for not giving us enough work so i feel like that they they thought their laptop was fine but if that's the case that just it just baffles me like how did how could you think that's enough I wouldn't call that a workstation, you know? 
I'd call that... I don't know, you know, minimizing. Like, if I had to keep working while traveling somewhere, it's the best case scenario. I can use a laptop to still work. It's not the ideal thing for me to be using, but it still works in a pinch, you know? But to have it as, like, yeah, to have it as your main source, that's crazy. I mean, I used to work on a laptop back in the day when I, um, when I was but a wee, wee child. And I used to do 3D art. I used to do 3D art on my bed. I used to have my laptop on my bed with a mouse. You know how hard it is to use a mouse on a duvet? Or I know some countries don't call it a duvet, but you know, like a bed bed cover. That's that was difficult. <laughs> cool. So that's all nice and all. That's not what I wanted to do this for, because that's that still sort of looks like what we're getting anyway, right? It's just yeah. What I why I did this is because I basically wanted. So I could do this uh, through generators or just manually drawing it like that, which I think is fine. And then I wanted to blur that. Oh, maybe it's not fine. It's it's a blur a bit more. Hmm. Maybe we'll use generous. So basically, I want to make it so we have a dark and light bit covering the tops and bottoms. Sort of over-exaggerated ambient occlusion because I think that'll look really nice. Oh, <sighs> yeah, like that. Then it's on multiply. Turn everything else off. Then I want to tighten you up a little bit. Contrast it probably. It's the same, probably like this. They get very, very slightly red tinted because red works really well for the shadowing. And maybe more here. Okay. Turn it down a tad like this. Do a duplicate. My mind is issue. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, then we want to invert it. Hmm. <laughs> Then bring that down to the bottom like this. Okay. I think already that's going to do some really good stuff for us. I'll also basically repeat what I just did a second ago. Actually, no. Why don't I just go white mask? And then instead, we'll go 150 and remove it. Maybe that won't be enough. to a overlay like this and turn this up do a blur and turn it down there was slight brightness in the middle like that or maybe even less now I am thinking of doing an NFC simple one, an egg with a different shape and design. Think it will go well? I mean, I have no idea. I don't really get how NFTs get their value, really, except from people giving them value. Um, I don't know. I don't really get the uh, VT. What? I don't really get NFTs, and I don't really agree with them either. I think they cause too many issues. Um, then it's worth the idea of NFTs is really cool. Because, yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. You give it a shot. But the idea of an NFT, I think, is really cool when you think about it. Because it was a, it's, a, it's kind of a way to give artists... What's this? That's very cool. It's kind of a way to give artists a way to essentially sell their work. Um, it's really, really cool. Unfortunately, that's not how it's been used. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff... I'm not going to... If I disconnected online, oh, there you go. I like froze for a second. I'm not gonna say, uh, oh, I froze it again. What's going on? Yeah, um, I'm not gonna say all the bad stuff, but yeah, oh, I've lost internet connection.
I'll be back. I'll keep disconnected. I'm going to end stream soon because I hate disconnected when I'm working. Because um, it just. I, I already distract myself as it is. Uh, we'll save the project desktop. They're doing work in my area on the internet, so it's getting a bit weird. Balcony, I want cylinder pillar. Cylindrical pillar. Oh. Probably spelled that wrong, but oh. Act. Logical pillar. Select. Export. This one I do have to re import the actual mesh. So it's coming to here. Import the mesh. Make sure I've got this turned on so it goes around its origin point I had in Blender. Wait, how did, how did I drag myself all the way up here? That was really weird. Um, drag you in. Oh, it's tiny. So what the heck? That's fine. Just tame, tames it. Tones by about 20. I never get that export from Blender. If you export it with thingy, with um, pivot, it's really weird. Apply. Oh, this is... This one's not even supposed to be here. This one's supposed to be downstairs. So let's make sure it's the right width. Yep, that looks about right. Cool. Delete you. Bring you up. Like that. And then we want a replicate here. And this was going to be stretched, but should still look fine. I don't think we should be having any problems. Cool. Do you have any idea about the prices of a pre-built PC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get pretty good PCs for about a grand. Well, it depends how much you want to spend uh, at the end of the day. So if we go... Um, I usually use Amazon. We've got pre-built... Or we just go... <sighs> I nine 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 okay. That's a really good, really good card. Let's see if they've got any PCs for that. Well, I like that card. I know a lot of people aren't agreeing with Intel at the moment, saying they're not as good. Oh, here you go. So if you want like a really good one, oh, yeah, look, thirty seventy, and then Intel i nine one thousand seven hundred. Obviously, that's expensive, but you get everything with that. That's including your RAM. Everything. That's not too bad. Um, however, if you are looking to obviously budget, whoa. Oh, Intel graphics, right. Okay, so that's actually really good. Um, you get an i9. You get a 8 gigabyte hard drive. Not brilliant. Don't get the bet. Only Intel HD graphics, not brilliant. I don't see RAM, which is important. Um, recent cards, unfortunately. Recent Intel cards. Oh, I shouldn't show my Amazon, actually. I'm pretty sure it... Shows my address. Whoops, I shouldn't say that out loud either, to be honest. Does it show my address? <sighs> kind of. You don't see all of it. <laughs> so I won't show that. But, yeah, I mean, you can get a pretty decent one around the ground. But just research what's good at the time. I don't always keep up to date. I only really get myself up to date with good components when I want to get good components myself. Um, so I don't know what's amazing at the moment. But yeah you'll be able to get something pretty good for a grand if you are going for a budget 600 to 800 pounds it's clear it's obviously an investment um so yeah anyways let's get this done get her done the unscore pillar you know what i just remembered i did this wrong my this has to be set to no srgb I'm surprised it doesn't look weirder than it turned out it's different oh, <laughs> i haven't even got it in there there you go <laughs> Oh, or did I make it float because it doesn't fit? 
And I can stretch it up a little bit. So you can fly around uh, like a game project. Oh my god, the internet sucks. Am I back? Sorry, I keep disconnecting. And a gaming chair. So the i7 7th gen is a um was a, technically my old card 7th gen. I had an i5, so it's te technically better than my old CPU. 60 gigabyte RAM, pretty good. 6050. 60 1650. Don't think that. Am I back? I'm just staring at the screen. Dude, yeah, it's so bad. Oh, sorry, yeah, um, that's actually a pretty good price. Um, uh, the fact that it comes with everything, my only concern is the 1650. I don't know how good of a graphics card that actually is. Um, I'm just going around comparing and see what, see what you can get for the price. But for $900, that's like, what, 700 You get everything with it, like it's just done. Yeah, that's one price, you can, your monitor's done. I can't believe I keep disconnecting. This is ridiculous. I'm glad we lasted as long as we did, admittedly, but it's getting real bad now. Wait, what did I call the other pillar? Hold on a minute. Where's the. Uh... Oh, here. Let's see. Are we back? I don't even know. Yeah, we're back. It's probably going to disconnect again. This is so bad. I don't know if you've heard what I've said, but I don't want to repeat it again, just in case I have. Oh, my basic shield. Whoa. M underscore. I should just do that. I'm putting M at the start. Oh, actually, I should put MI at the start. Kill her. Because it's actually an instance. There you go. Plug that in. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Yeah, it shouldn't yet because I haven't put the actual materials in. Um, cylindrical pillar. Make sure I set RGBs off. Yep. Boom. 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 Uh, what material is that one using? Woohoo! I think I may have made it too dark at the bottom. Like, I think it needs to be pinched more. And again, I can barely see it in here. It needs to be baked, admittedly, but we'll see. Because it'll bake all the detailing in here. Let's get the light map resolution turned up. Twelve. I don't know if I actually. Ooh, where am I? If I actually need to do that. Twelve. Cool. I am gonna end stream before it disconnects me again. I don't even know if any of you are here now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Whoever's left, and I'll catch you next time. Hopefully, man, it doesn't suck. Bye-bye.